girl goes sat on fire in this building? Down in the basement, her name was Mary. There's a house just over the state line that's rumored to be one of the most haunted in the South. Octagon Hall is now known as a sanctuary for the supernatural. A portal to hell was opened nearly a century ago by the first homeowners. One of the most documented cases of demon possession and exorcism in recent history. Did you, talk Did you see me freaking out earlier? Wait, you got no, 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 scratched no, no, no. already? <laughs> I just heard hey, and now it says I was killed. Mary. Are you kidding me? We went into the house not knowing what to expect. No, 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 no. So that confirms we're definitely talking to the person or entity that literally lit the girl on fire. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is too good to be true. All right, boy, we're coming up to the octagon. What do you guys think? I can't see because it's dark right now, but I'm sure it's going to be crazy. I think that light's really bright. I'm sorry, buddy. There's but only a big truck behind us, and I have to stop right now. Yo, hold on tight. Seriously, though. Yo, I have no seatbelt on. <laughs> ah! Yo, Whoa. check that thing out, bro. It looks like an octagon. Oh, my That's God. Like now we don't have to investigate anymore. Let's just go back. Actually, you know what? Oh my god. Dude. I'm going back. <laughs> no, wait. We're going forward. Okay, so okay. we kind of talked about a little surprise for tonight. Yeah, you did. What is it? Because even in Waverly, like, we have a surprise. We have a surprise. Yeah, I want to know what's up. Trizzy! Trizzy Drake, no way! And you want that hotline, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways, we have a surprise for you guys. I just can't tell you yet. It's kind of... Is, is it, it that in? guy? Oh, no. That's is just, it Wyatt? That's just Wyatt. All right, well, let's go see then. Let's go. I'm, I'm now you're amping me up. Yeah. All right, here's my surprise for you. What? Oh, oh, what the? <laughs> so you were joking? No, I'm serious. Oh, All right, okay. let's do this. Imagine. Tonight, we are going to the infamous Octagon Hall in Franklin, Kentucky. Someone get me a gun. There's a house just over the state line that's rumored to be one of the most haunted in the South. Octagon Hall is now known as a sanctuary for the supernatural. Video inside the home. The door moved on its own. He believes there's something very negative lurking here. Widely known as one of the most haunted places in the South. A portal to hell was opened nearly a century ago by the first homeowners. In 1847, a man that went by the name of Andrew Jackson Caldwell had laid the first cornerstone to this house. To this day, this building is the only octagon-shaped brick house in the South. The reason why Caldwell had built this into an octagon is because of sacred Masonic geometry. So yes, he was a prominent member of the Freemasons. Not only that, it's built on top of a ley line, so that means there's tons of energy attracted to that house. Someone get me a drink. Gin on ice. I am some time to think. When the Civil War broke out, this place was actually still used as a plantation. The Caldwells lived there and they did own slaves. There were a lot of people that lived and died on that land. Mr. Caldwell supported the Confederacy and he allowed the Confederate troops to use the Octagon Hall as a base and makeshift military hospital. Over the duration of the war, thousands of Confederate soldiers would pass through this area and eventually the Union Army would take over the land and use the house as well. Unfortunately, the Union Army was very aggressive and not very kind towards the locals and the slaves that did live on that land and they would remain in and around the house until the end of the war. Go rain. It's not your song to sing no more goodbye blame Weights can lift you up but you can find a way to drop them over the years, many, many soldiers would die on this property. However, to this day, the exact number is unknown. The Octagon Hall has become such a hotspot for paranormal activity. There's said to be hundreds of spirits on this property, but we are going to be talking about three in particular that people come across on a daily basis. The first and most well-known spirit is of a little 10-year-old girl who was Andrew Jackson Caldwell's daughter. She had actually died in a very gruesome way shortly after the house was built. She had somehow caught on fire. The sad part is she had actually lived after they put out the fire for seven excruciating days. On that seventh day, her body Body could not take the pain anymore and she had unfortunately died inside of her bedroom. Hey Mrs. So and so, I see you pull my name out of your fancy hat. No, I'm part of your game. Hey honey, don't you know I'm not like all the rest? You might think
The second spirit inside that house is that of a young man named Jerome Clark. His nickname was Sue Monday. He doesn't particularly like that name here in the house, so we try to always call him Jerome Clark. That is his gun, and I think that's the reason why he's here. He was a spy for the Union Army, and he would often dress as a woman to try and gather information, and unfortunately, one day his secret was found out and he was killed inside of the house. Last but not least, there is one more evil entity that people do not like to talk about. On the outside, looking in, I really wasn't sure what I was getting. A portal to hell was opened nearly a century ago by the first homeowner. One of the most documented cases of demon possession and exorcism in recent history. It's the church's prayer to God and Jesus to cast out the demons. Lots of people say that this isn't a spirit at all, but something more demonic. Rumors are saying that there is some weird secret that dates back when the Caldwell family had lived in the house. They are stating that this dark entity could have appeared when they were performing those Masonic rituals. This energy is known to physically push and scratch the people who come and visit the house. There is one more blistering thought that suggests that this evil entity was the one who caused the little girl to catch on fire. So tonight we are heading to the Octagon Hall in Kentucky to see if these stories are true. But before we do jump into this episode, we have more patches. For those of you who were not able to get your hands on some patches, guys, we have new ones. We have 50 of our original logo on a patch that is gray and green. Guys, these are starting to become more of like a collector's item. I'm starting to patch my jacket with all of the patches that we have so far, so I kind of think it's cool. And I know you guys have been wanting us to release more patches, so here you go. All you need to do is click that link down in the description. You better get them because we sold out in I think three hours. When they're gone, they're gone, baby. Also, one last thing. If you are not subscribed to this channel and you keep finding yourselves coming back, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Press the like button because that will let us know that you guys do enjoy what we have been doing. With all that being said, hope you guys enjoy this terrifying episode. Okay, guys, we are here at the Octagon Hall. Yay! How is it that we have so much energy and so much hype every location? It doesn't make any because sense. Because we bring it. We're all crazy, yeah. we all want it, we all want a ghost hunt, and then when they see our energy and they like it, then they come talk to us even more. Bring it, Josh! Once again, we have the boys with us, Seth Borden and Exploring Yo. with Duck! We're not doing the Duck thing again. We passed that now. Say it with me, Exploring with, with Duck! duck. Exploring, exploring with Josh. Exploring <laughs> with Josh. We ain't on that level. Okay. Exploring with Doug. Yep. Exploring with Doug. Uh huh. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are here at the Octagon Hall. There are three spirits known to be in this place. Three. One of them being a very evil entity. Oh no. So when he was in there for one minute, he said he was feeling a bit like uneasy and stuff. Oh yeah, dude, it's got a really weird vibe in there. Dude, if we get married tonight, I swear, I'm gonna kiss Seth. That's changed. Dude, wait, it's Seth's birthday still, bro. Oh! Oh, happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Seth! All right, boys, what do we usually do before we start an investigation? We put our hands in. Whoa! The feet. This feels right. Oh, dude! <laughs> All right, roll with it. Roll with it. Everybody, hands on his. <laughs> Hands together. One, two, three. Off the gun. Kiss your mom's spider legs. That makes no sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're gonna have a good We heard lots of stories about the dark entity here, the one who had set that little girl on fire down in the basement. Stories say that you walk around all over this place in the octagon hall. Apparently there's two other spirits, including that little girl. We are calling out to any of the spirits here, and we would like to have a conversation with you if that's possible. Don't be afraid of us. We don't mean any harm. And to the dark entity, the dark spirit, we're not here to get rid of you. We just want to have a conversation and find out if that story is true. Before we do start asking questions... What was that? Was that a whistle? Devices upstairs. Nothing that'll make that sound. Before we do start asking questions, what was that? Is that a whistle? That's a whistle. That came from in here. No, that came upstairs. I said it. I was upstairs. It was a whistle though, as if it's like signaling. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. here. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah. 
I'd like to be proper with you and introduce the five of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. My name is Josh. My name is Seth. And my name is River. What I want to do is I have this device that I'm going to set at the top of the stairs. If you can, all you need to do is walk up to it. It'll start to light up and buzz. So use your energy. I'll go ahead and demonstrate how it works as well, so that you're not confused. Should I set it right here? No, all the way up. All the way up there? Yeah. I'm going to set it here at the top. And if you can, show us that you are up here. That'll pretty much let us know that you are inviting us up here. All you need to do is walk up to this metal antenna, this metal rod. And get near it, it'll start to buzz and light up. Okay. Just let us know, please. We just want to have a conversation. Whoever's up here, little girl, if you're up here, we just want to talk to you, that's all. We're just going to be waiting down here. Oh, was that creaking? Yeah, yeah. I heard that. Whatever that was, that was loud. Yeah. It's a pretty solid creak. Are you no kidding me? No way. That's crazy. Thank you. Yeah. That's what we heard. We heard somebody walking to it. Oh, yeah, get the creep. That's amazing. That's awesome. Okay. That means we we'll go upstairs. Yeah, we're going to go upstairs then. They must want to have a conversation. Dude, this, the guy Hello. here said that this place is so active all the time. I mean, you can kind of feel it though when you walk in here. It's, yeah. What was that? That was temperature change. I heard it go. Yeah, yeah. There it is. That means somebody's walking up to it or something is near it. Yeah, yeah. That's giving That's it that producing. cold. Yeah. Let's go up though. Yeah. Dude, now it's like watching us. Out the stairs, you think? Maybe. Unfortunately, we can't see with our own eyes. So I have this other device that I'd like to bring out as soon as we get into one of the bedrooms that gives you the ability to use a word or a sentence. So if you would like to use your words, that would be amazing. Can I get a light on you real quick? You have a what, scratch? What happened? I have a scratch on my stomach. What the f Did you about? see me freaking out earlier? Wait. Yeah. Did you see me like you moving around all weird? You got already? Wait, when? Just now while I was down. You saw that, right? You, yeah. I thought you were filming me. We're going to go upstairs then. They must want to have a conversation. Dude, this, the guy Hello. here said that this place is so active. Bro. Right there. Literally right as we started walking up. My heart's pounding right now. I just thought like maybe my shirt got like tugged on like one of my hairs or something, but no, you, there's literally it a It looks like a little right baby there. scratch, like two, three inches. I mean, show me your hands. He's got gloves Dude, on. he has gloves on, bro. Yeah, there's no way you could have done it. That's crazy. Dang. That's weird, man. That's why you turned around? Yeah. They say that the dark entity is like, he does like physical touching a lot. Yeah, he'll try He'll to push you, scratch, pull your hair. That's weird too, because earlier you were the one that walked in here and immediately said you don't like feel very. Oh. Uh, also, dude. another thing the guy said, when there's groups that come in, the shadow person will target one person, the whole night. Damn it! Did you just? I heard. I heard that. You heard that? That was not. Let's go in that room. Bring out the device that they can use their words and see if we can get anything. Turn it on. The device here in Josh's hand, we're going to walk into this room. If you could follow us and communicate with us, that's what we're looking for. If you can give us the information on who scratched Seth already. And we're in airplane mode, by the way, just saying. Give us a sign, please. Dude, what is the f You hear that too? Yeah, there's like knocking. Either that or it's like creaking, but it's like one creak, you know? Why did you scratch Seth? Was that a growl? I thought I heard a footstep. Yeah, that sounded like a footstep. Where are you? That that's in the next room. Full blown right over there. That's, that's that goes place. right to the next room. It does. That's where I heard it before, too. That's where the camera is. Cool. Oh, cool. Just like, yeah, like, cool, I'm here, yeah. Also, guys, look at all the mannequins around us. So creepy. Yeah, I know. Dude, like, just... Look at that one, bro. <laughs> look at that one. Was he the doctor? Yeah, dude. dude that looks like he him. looks old as dirt. His face is melting off, bro. Whoa. Literally. What? What? That was like screeching. 
Whoa, that actually just scared the out of me. Was it out there? It sounded like a man. He was like either just yelling like, ah. I almost swear I heard, shut up. Really? Who scratched me? I don't really appreciate that, to be honest. What the f The noises we're hearing around us, is that you, the one who scratched me? Oh. My. God. Ah. Hung! Hung! That was a thing that would happen here. No, the slaves got yes. hung in the back, yeah. right? Yeah. No way! Yeah. I don't mean to be demeaning by asking this question, but... Was it a slave, or the spirit of a slave that scratched me? What the f*** was that? Oh, did you just hear that voice? That was a voice and footsteps. Yeah, yeah. I've never heard footsteps that clear before. No, it's almost like somebody's in here with us. Someone's walking. Where, where is that What? Laugh. Whoa! Is that what I heard? No Maybe way. It sounded like screaming or something. <laughs> this could be the dark spirit. Yeah, he likes to f with people and intimidate them. Dark spirit, are you around us right now? Did you do that to that little girl? Did you harm her? She was set on fire. Her name was Mary. And Mary, if you are here, don't be afraid. Come and speak with us, please. Can you give us a big bang if you want us to leave? The attic. The attic. There is an attic. There is an attic. We just can't get to it. There's a ladder. Is there something in the attic? Outside. Outside, too. There's a way to the attic outside, maybe? No, there's also lots of spirits outside. So it could be multiple spirits, like, telling us their information. Whoever's talking to us, if there's multiple spirits, multiple people, and you're talking through that device, it's getting a little confusing. Dude, I'm also on a what scene that's going heck? on. This is weird. It's like they're stuck. The footsteps are so clear. But I feel like they're behind you, bro. I think they're actually on that ground. That's what I think. Maybe we should go towards the footsteps. You know what's funny? When he walked us through here real quick. The guy literally said to us, if you ask him to show you where to go, they'll set your stuff off or something, just like this REM pod just did, and then they yeah. leave. They don't stay there. The hell? Like they toy with you and make you run around all over the place. So they just draw you somewhere. Yeah, just to mess with you. He literally said that, word for word. That's weird, bro. Can you give us a sign that you're near us, please? See, that's... That's like in this room, yeah. I think so. Ooh. Where's that from? Oh. My. God. Where is that now? The stairs. On Still the stairs? on the stairs. What? Thank you. We keep hearing footsteps or knocking. I don't know what it is. In this room. If you can see where I'm pointing. Right in here. Is there a reason for that? Are you trying to get our attention? That was like a tap right over here. Yeah. There's no wind whatsoever. It's not just the place settling. There's no way. Footsteps are happening way too much for to be like the yeah. house settling, yeah. right? I mean. Whoa, what the f is that? I kind of heard that too. That was a voice. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of what? Dude, of setting the girl on fire. I was just going to say that. Oh, man. So you did it. So are you guilty of setting the girl on fire? Is that why you're guilty? Oh. Are they just conf is that a confirmation? The REM pod's going off. Would you light it up again if that's why you're guilty? Guys? What? Someone's running around downstairs. No. What? Do you feel it? Dude. Oh! Sh that was like stomping. You can feel it. That was stomping. So that confirms we're definitely talking to the person or entity that literally lit the girl on fire. Oh. They just. Oh. What the f is that? What's going on? Guys, where? What is going on? This is weird. I think they f with us and brought us up here. Who scratched Seth? Can somebody give us that information? What are you? That was like some 
thump down there. I'm so confused. Me too. This is like so confusing. Well, think about it. I asked again, if you're guilty, can you light it off one more time? Yeah. Bang, then it lit off. So we know we're talking to the actual spirit that burned the, you know, the girl. I really feel like this happens often, like when we go to locations and stuff where spirits are so distant, yet they're also giving you like some evidence. And then later on, they start to feel way more comfortable. It's weird. It's almost like, you know, you're meeting new people and inviting them into your home as guests for the first time and you're always like a little bit standoffish. That's why they always say. Burden! Oh my god. So Whoa! we're a burden. We're not even welcomed. I mean, think about it. This is their space. <gasps> no f way. Sounds like somebody's here. Is there somebody living here right now? A person who's alive? Dude, what the f is going no. on? I've oh my god, what? did you hear that? I, what? You guys didn't hear that? No. As soon as I'm leaning over to look down, it sounded like somebody stepped and creaked on the first step down there. I'm going to leave. Whoa! Oh my god. Who is this? We like to keep talking. What's that? Oh my god. Way. What happened? The music. Dude, we were saying we thought we heard footsteps in it's this us. area. It's, it's us! us! Dude! Dude. Thank you for that. What is going on? Everybody stand away real quick. I just want to make sure it has nothing to do with us. It can't reach that far anyway. No, it's only six feet. There's been multiple times I and Wyatt so far have stood right here and it didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. All of the spirits here, if you can hear us and understand what we're saying, please don't fear us. We're not going to be here for a long time. We're just here as guests for a couple of hours. So if you can, with all due respect, please come and have a conversation with us. Please show us where you are. Can we open up that door? I just wanted to see what was in there. Approach. Approach. Approach the, the, the closet door? No, I said please, like with all due respect, please come and have a conversation with us. Do you want me to go stand in the closet? <laughs> Can I get ripped to shreds in there? <laughs> you got scratched, when you get scratched again? That's really interesting that you got scratched right away. As soon as we got here, you were saying the whole time we were setting up and getting B-roll that you're feeling weird. You are not safe. Ooh. Oh, Seth, no way, bro. Why? You got targeted right away. And that's what they say happens here. Why'd you target me? Did you just, did anybody just? Uh-huh. What? You didn't hear? I, I was like I two knocks, it was like. <gasps> they're, no. re they're acting to your knock? Do, do it again. Oh my god, dude. What the f that was right there. That was right there. That's insane. I've never Whoa. ever seen anything like that. Guys, this before. doesn't make sense. This is weird. I've never seen that ever happen. Ready? <gasps> that sounds further. It, like it was secrets. Secrets. It reacted to your same light knocking tap. Oh, even lions, dude. That was like right there. What was that? <gasps> Hello? Oh my god, did you just f with that one? What do they want? Are we allowed in that room? I wonder if that's what they're doing. They're literally moving back and forth. Oh, no, there's no f***ing way because I was standing here and nothing was interfering at all with it. That was still too. Curse. Curse. Does this place have a curse on it? Is that why there may be the shadow? I'm not moving. I'm not doing anything. It's not us. Not me neither. Please, for the love of God, tell me you heard that. Was it another footstep? No, I think I just heard a door shut downstairs. No, 
What? Where do you think, like, which door do you think it might have been? I don't know. That was just, like the click of a door. I mean, someone just imitated everyone's knock in that room. Dude. Who's downstairs? Did you just That was Harry. Harry? Are you a different spirit? Everywhere, dude. This is not making any sense. Now I'm starting to feel like somebody's in here. So you think there's more than one here? No, I just, like an actual person. Oh. If White heard a door. Oh God, should we like just check the house real quick? Cause that's kind of sketchy. I feel like I can hear people talking. There's a ball at the top. Stuck here. Stuck here. here. Whoa, whoa. I'm starting to like feel a little paranoid. Dude, me too. About the whole why it hurt a door. Maybe we should go down there, check, and then make our way to the basement. If anything more happens up here, I'd like to come back. I have a surprise for you guys. You guys might hate it. You might also be terrified. A little bit of poo pants. I don't want to my pants in the museum. I only have one pair of underwear on me right now, dude. You can borrow mine that I have around my waist. Respect. Challenge. Challenge. Is that a challenge for us to go? Well, apparently, if you go down in the basement, that's where like some real like evil stuff happens. If, dude, I've never done an investigation where someone knocked and I got the knock back. That's yeah. never yeah. happened. That is that's the coolest thing already. Like it's crazy to me. I've never seen that in any investigation. All right, let's go down the basement and lights out. Okay, we're making our way down into the basement where the little girl had burnt and lived for seven days after. Lucifer. Whoa! Oh my god! Ooh. Is that the shadow man down there? Is that what people call you? It's completely pitch black. So this is gonna be a little bit of a mission. But I have a surprise for the guys. I mean, just said Lucifer though, and we're going down. I mean, yeah, that's good. Mary! Are you down here? Are you okay? I just felt like something like poked me in my chest. That felt so weird. I stopped. I was behind you. Did you just touch me again? I just heard that. We're definitely not alone. Nah. I feel like we're being watched everywhere right now. I think now would be the best time to show you what I have. Oh I don't think so. And you want me to open? You're Kidding me. <laughs> I don't want to do that. No way. I'm not doing that. You, I'll, I'll go stand outside. That's fine. You guys can do it in here. I'm not. I don't want to be a part of that. I'm sorry. The last time we opened one of these, was something really f bad happened. We don't even know what the f is. We had bad luck for so long after those videos. I want it to be open, but I generally don't think I can do it either. How about this? Her footsteps upstairs. Just saying. Where's the red pod? I'm gonna stick it on the ground. I'm gonna stick a REM pod on top of it. To see what happens. See if anything happens. Any um, like interest. Calm down. All right. Let's go where the fire was. I have this box here that may hold another- Silent. Oh. Dude, they just silenced you. Wow. This box might hold another dark entity in it. What I'm gonna do is set it here in the middle of the table. I'm gonna put this device on top of it. Can you maybe hold on to the device and make it light up if you know that there is something inside? I don't know. My arms. <gasps> my arms. She got burnt, dude. From her, yeah. I mean, at one point she probably was like, my arms, my arms. Oh, for you sure. Know? Yeah. That makes sense. Any of the spirits, where are you? Are you in here? Are you out there? Are you upstairs? Why do people see a shadow figure here, down in the basement most of the time? Are you the one who set the fire? To Mary? Did you kill her? Oh. Oh my god, dude. Guys. This is... That... Straight up grabbed it. Did I scare you? Whoa! Oh my no! Way. Dude, this is a dark spirit and it's playing with us. Yeah, this thing is... No joke. This fear of all of us right now. You did scare us a little bit because we can't see you. We can hear somebody around us.
What? Did they follow us? Whoa, that light just turned off. Oh my god. Wait, I just wait. caught that on camera, guys. I, I seen the light go off too. That light straight just went off by itself. We're literally playing with fire right now. I really like for real. don't want to be here right now. Are you in this room? Now I'm afraid to open the box because of you guys. <laughs> well, I just don't like- Hurt. Hurt? Oh, no, yeah, I, I don't mind you opening it. I'm just not touching it. That's all. Yeah, but I'd rather have Seth also on board as well. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. This is weird. Like, if I didn't have Colin's experience in the bad luck, yeah, I, it would I, be really different. But I'm not kidding. That bad luck hit me hard. Dude, the light the just light. turned on. Hello? Who's in there? Do you want us to sit around this table? Blame. 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 Are you the one to blame for the fire? If you are, give us a sign, please. Can you turn off that light in there? Just turn. Oh! oh my God. Yo, no way. Bro. As you're behind it, Wyatt. We're gonna sit around this table here. Who's got the flashlight for two seconds? Whoa. It turns on by sensor. No way. Yeah, yeah. but that's but up because that nobody. Someone in there. Yeah, Dude. it can't sense us. Yeah. Look where the sensor points. Where? It goes underground. Oh bro. no. It points underground. Well, if it's a sensor, how, how could it how could that's we be setting that off? No, no, we, we can't. Yeah, we weren't we setting it off. It's impossible. Yeah, we were not setting it off. We're sitting at this table here. Just to show you that we're just in one spot. So don't be afraid to approach us, please. Is there something in this box right below this device that's lighting up red? I just want to know if there's something in there. If there's not, that's okay. Oh my God. One more time, if that's true. Is there something in this box? Use your energy. Manifest it. Oh, so that just, whoa! So that just confirms, like, a thousand percent there's something in that box. That we don't even know what it is. We didn't specify good or bad yet. That light turned on again, guys. How is it happening? It We're on the ground. That makes no sense. They were saying that there was another level underground. Mm -hmm. But they haven't been able to confirm it because the concrete. Oh, just turned off. Right after you said that. There's rumors of like hidden tunnels and stuff under us. Did you just hear that knock? Was that any of you guys? I am removed. Oh. Do you guys that? I heard that. If the rumor about the underground tunnel or floor is true, can you give us a sign? Where is that? That's like, is that above us? That feels like it's around us. God dang. The statue just scared me. <laughs> Give us a sign. Is it true? That light just turns on again. Like, could you imagine? There's no way. Like, there's we no- don't harm you. Okay. Somebody already did. Who was that then? It sounds- It was me. Whoa! Oh my god. No. Oh! The same person that says it won't harm you. No! Seth, I feel for you, brother. Can you explain why? What did he do? Right when he stepped in this building, he started to feel something weird. What is your reason for targeting him? I just heard a, yep, I just heard that. Beep, beep. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna cause more harm tonight if we continue doing what we're doing? That light, um, it, that light just turned on. It turned on when you said that, Seth. I wanna be here for your video and everything, bro, but my safety comes first. I'm not opening this box. It's been a long time since I felt this sketched out and freaked out by a place. If you want Seth to open this box. <laughs> oh, I just got it. Now I feel dumb. <laughs> it, no way, bro. It wants you to open the box. And you were just joking. I was. I was totally kidding. 
I'm not gonna force anything. Maybe we should do it on our own terms, but the over fact- here. Oh, no. Over here. Whoa! Is something bad gonna happen if I open this box? I think just the box being around still has a ton of energy if there is something inside. It said there was. I'm not gonna force anybody to open the box. I brought it just as an idea. It's okay if we don't open it. Oh my god. They want it opened so bad. Why would they set that off right after you <clears throat> said that? I don't know. Try this. I have this device that I'm going to bring out. If you are around us, or if there is something inside this box, I'm gonna set the device on top of the <clears throat> box. And this allows for us to hear what your voice actually sounds like. We are going to ask a bunch of questions, and in between those questions, speak loud and clear. Guys, I think we need to do an EVP right now. Let's do an EVP, boys. Dude, why? That light what? just turned on. Yeah. Nobody's even near it. No. And the sensor. What was, was that a high? Or hey, that was a voice for sure. I heard it. That was a voice. It was like a mean, mean one though. I was killed. Oh, oh. Mary. We, I, I just heard hey, and now it says I was killed. Mary literally was killed. This is where it happened. It's just, this whole place just gives like, what you said it upstairs, like a paranoia. Yeah. Like I just feel so like paranoid. No, same dude. That light turned off. Ooh, try it, dude, real quick. If there's someone inside of that cabinet, can you turn on that light? We are knocking. Hmm. <gasps> oh! Bro, Whoa. to be no. honest, that even went off a different time. So if there was a timer on it, it would have been going on the same timer. It turned on way faster than the last time. Yeah. The guy that's a he good was... call, bro. That's Seriously, really that call. is legit. Now... That's insane, dude. No, that's legit, dude. There is something really for real there. Like, I wasn't sure if there was a timer sensor. Now that confirmed everything. Okay, if you can turn it off, please turn it off. I'm gonna ask you another question. If we talk through a light inside of a cabinet, that's insane, bro. It's already starting. Turn it off, please. <gasps> oh my god. No <gasps> way! Are you willing to come over here and speak into this device for us to hear your voice? Can you come out of that closet, please? The closet all f just opens. Dude. Bruh. That would be so f cool. I don't know if it would be, actually. I would quit ghost hunting if that happened. I, I, I would be too scared. I'm already freaked out, like, really bad. I want to ask one more question before we start the EVPs. Are you an evil entity? Heavy. How I described the feeling. Remember, it said we won't harm you earlier. So need help. Need, need help. Whoa. Oh! Whoa! Oh, wow, dude. That's so insane. How is this happening? We need to do EVPs right now. Yeah. Let's find out what's going on. What if it's the box that's doing this? Excuse me, ma'am. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. There was a little girl that had set on fire in this room. What was your name? Did you just touch my bed? No way. You swear on everything? He didn't. I haven't recorded. Dude, some, something just touched my back. You okay though? Yeah, that was weird. I'm gonna start it again. I'm sorry. I'm it's okay. Yeah, no, no, it's he good. He scares I'm... people. Whoa! Oh my god. No he... way. That bro. confirms. He... he scares people. Okay, I'm starting this EVP. I'm starting this device. We're gonna ask a question. Please answer loud and clear. The fact that that light's not doing anything now is very odd. Mm -hmm. A long time ago, there was a little girl that had set on fire in here. What was your name? Can you give us the name of the person that you want to open this box?
Is the evil entity that set Mary on fire the same person that scratched me upstairs? What's in this box? Okay, boys, do you wanna do you wanna do the duties? Because I don't know really how to use it as good as you do. No, it's all right. Yeah, I'll do it. You guys, ready? A long time ago, there was a little girl that set on fire in here. What was your name? Can you give us the name of the little girl that set on fire in here? I almost heard Seth. No. Did you guys no, no, also no. hear that? I'm gonna play it back one mind. Here we go. I'll slow it down. Here we go. We slowed it. I I hear it. Don't open. Don't open. Death. Death. Yo. What's Death. in this box? Death. I'm playing it back. That was pretty f clear, dude. Here it comes again. What's in this box? Death. Death. So there's. Whoa. That's a. Scary and you might answer. be able to edit that and like hear more from it. Yeah. But I heard, I heard death for sure. We might have heard Seth Borden or Seth. I'm not sure. Or I, after Ryan said "Don't open," now I can hear it saying "Don't open." I, I'm pretty yeah. sure it says "Don't open." Don't open. Don't open. I'm gonna do this one more time here. Please speak loud and clear into this device that I'm going to be holding in my hand. Also remember, notice there's no light going on, and it's nope. been this. Not this, at all. Yeah, a good five minutes. That means they came out. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Is the evil entity here with us right now? If you want us to leave, say the word leave. Do you mean to cause harm? The Shadow Man. What's your name? Is there someone in this closet right now? You have to be f kidding me. Didn't go off the entire Dude. session. And the fact that it didn't go off that long completely eliminates the possibility of it being on a timer. No, yep. it's not on a timer at all. No. They just responded to River right away. Yep. Wow. That just freaked me the f out. For real, that was on command. Okay. Should I play it back now? Yeah. Here we go. Yes. Yes. The Shadow Man. What's your name? Is there someone in this closet right now? What was that? Is there someone in this closet right now? I always hear, yes, there is someone in this closet. The whole sentence. Dude. I definitely hear the word closet. Whoa. The whole thing. Oh, dude. That's weird. It's hard because sometimes our, our minds play tricks, but it sounds like it for real. This is gnarly down here, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's have Seth hold it and ask one question. <clears throat> and I want you to ask if the entity that scratched you is close. Okay. Is like close by. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. 
is the entity that scratched me close. So the, when you said that, is the entity close? You knew it was tapping behind Ryan. Mm -hmm. Tell me you guys heard that really. F yeah, loud. the door. That sounded like a door slam upstairs. That's what that sounded like. Oh my! That do 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 sounded like somebody was coming down the stairs. Through that. Yeah. Good point. Let's listen to this. Here I am. Yeah. There is no f way. Whoa. Here I am. Or yes, right here. I hear. I hear. Here I am. Yes. Here straight I am. Up. And that's it. It didn't even pick up then. Here I am. Oh my God. Whoa. Dude. This is insane. I mean, that confirmed everything. My body is so chilled up right here now. Here I am. It's just ch chilling by here. I mean, remember, it did the taps right behind you. Here I am. I mean, what more evidence do we need? That's I totally agree with you, man. I mean, I mean, for real, though. Okay, out of respect, I wanted to open the box, but maybe if you guys want us to open the box, I don't know if there is something in it or if there isn't. There are so many other, like, places that us three could go and open it. So if you guys want us to open it, get this video to 35,000 likes. Just hit the like button if you guys are enjoying this episode too, please. It's a very dark, scary episode. That just lets us know that you guys do like what we're doing so far. What do you guys say we go up to Mary's room, do the flashlight method, and see if we can, because I want to find out what happened to her. Yeah. I think we should have two spear talkers going. I want see if we can get as much as we can out of Mary. Right. We know the dark entity is here. That's facts. You already got scratched right away. Can I, can I just, yeah, dude, can I just say something? Remember when you said that you thought it, it said don't open? Yeah. I don't know why, but like in, in my in my mind, like my my first thought was Mary. Telling you not to do it. Oh. Trying yeah. to protect and you. And that's just my gut feeling. So honestly, I feel like that's the best thing for us to do. Well, I think she also told us that he scares us or he mm -hmm. scares people. She said that, yeah. yeah. The spirit talker. We're onto something, man. Like, this is 100% legit. It's groundbreaking, actually. The spirits here, the people who are telling the stories about the spirits here. Facts. It's happening. Mm -hmm. With all that being said, let's make our way upstairs and see if we can come in contact with Mary. Mary, we came up to your room to try and see if you are here. It's unfortunate what happened to you. Somebody, something, or maybe it was a natural accident, we don't know. But people say that it was something here that set you on fire. We're on the side of here. What was that? I heard running up Guys. there. Guys! What? Come here, come here! I heard it, I heard real running. Mary? Did you guys hear that? Mm -hmm. Dude, that sounded like a child's footsteps, bare feet, going doo, 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 doo. And then, I think that device, something beeped down there. Okay, sorry. That was really weird. I heard it too. Maybe I should put the What? Uh, My left ear is ringing. What the f You okay? Something keeps f with you, man. They want you. Dude, like just just as I walked through the door, like my hearing, bro, like I literally felt like I just went deaf for half a second. And then in my left ear, it just started ringing like a grenade just went off in my ear, bro. That's so f weird. Mary, I have this device here that allows you to give us a yes or a no. If you can, please answer some of the questions that we ask. I got a yes and no device. I'm gonna set it on the bed. Don't be nervous. Whoa, whoa, yep. Don't be nervous. Everyone's nervous right now. Yeah. <gasps> what? Did you? What? What? That There's an hit... EMF meter right there. Dude, it just hit red. That was so loud. It just hit it again. It's doing it again. Oh my God. I've never seen those work like that. Mary, is that you? Oh, whoa, no. Mary, if, it, if this is really you, I'm sorry what happened to you because I think 
whatever messed with you is messing with me Little tonight. Little girl around you. Oh! Bro. Green! Oh, I'm with oh. green. Whoa! Bro. That is proof! That is facts. Oh no way! That's one of the you most unreal things we've ever caught. That's insane. That's, I think Mary was doing the that. The pyramid went off too? Yes. No. Take, Take photo. photo. She's Dude, known I'm... to be caught in photos. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. <gasps> what the oh my god. This is too good to be true. Mary, I'm going to take a couple photos. Yeah. yeah. Mary, I'm going to take some photos of your room. If you can show yourself to any of us, please do that. I'm going to cry if she's in one of these pictures. I, I don't even know where to start. I'll start with the K2, I guess. Yo. Guys. That's behind us. River, watch out. Yeah, take one over here, I feel it. Mary, while Seth is taking photos, can you do us a favor, please? This device here on the bed, if you can make it say yes, that'll let us know that you are here with us right now. Please, we're not here to harm you in any way. It's nice to meet you as well. No, not here. No, not here. Whoa. Oh, mm -hmm. So is that like a trick? No, not here. I said, if you're here, can you please touch this device? And she said, no, not here. Like on the bed though, you set it on the bed. Do you want me to set it somewhere else? Whoa, did you just see that? I just what? caught that. What, did it just they, switch? They switched it over to a different setting. Yeah. They're switching it over. Whoa, whoa, this whoa, has whoa. never happened. This doesn't happen. No, you have to hit a button to do that. Yes. So they're messes. Are, are you trying to say that you want? Whoa. What, dude, this never happens. So they're messing with your device. Yes. Is, is Mary or whoever trying to say that maybe it wants to use the other mode? The number mode. Collect. Five. What are you trying to tell us with the numbers? There's five of us. I was gonna say there that. is five of us. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, whoa. It just went, it went into that room. I, it's so hard to like with yeah, with numbers. any numbers. Downstairs. Oh my god. That was the one on the railing. Yeah. Creature. 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 Oh, maybe the box, dude. Maybe the box holds some sort of weird demonic creature. I mean, it's so it's definitely powerful because the REM pod was going off on the box. Everyone wants the box open. Yeah. You just don't know. Did you just hear that? that was a tap right in the corner right there, next to that girl. Yeah. Guys, suffer. 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 Guys, EMF is going crazy. I'm gonna switch it back over to the yes and no. Is there a creature here? Can you make it say yes if there is? I hear walking on the stairs. Oh, downstairs again. You just said you heard walking on the stairs, and that device just went off. What was that? Whistled. I heard a like out loud whistle. Come up here, please. Where's Mary? Did you run away? Uh, I think the EMF meter just went off. I think so too. It's going. It's going. Yeah. Oh my god. That's so crazy. Mary, are you still here? Or was it ever Mary? Right. There's always that. But the fact that the device was literally giving us all that information. There's a little girl around you. That's legit. Yeah. Is it cool if I ask a question? Oh, yeah. Mary, if you're still here, I just want to know because you can probably see the other spirits in this house, but I want to know, do you, do you recognize the evil entity? Is it still here? Downstairs. Was that green? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Don't that. they have two different like sounds? Yeah, the green is higher pitch. This is insane. This place is really active. It's really active and really scary. Mary, I really want to know. We all really want to know what happened to you. Don't go. Don't go. That makes a lot of sense when saying don't go. She was saying how he scares me. Don't go. Something's up, man. She was here, right? I wonder if she was up in her room and the dark entity was downstairs with us. I wonder if she like dipped. Mm. It was weird, like she was in here with us for a little while and then she went, boom, left. 
Well, dude, remember, that's what you said that the spirits like to do here. Yeah. But I'm wondering if she ran away because of the evil entity might be back with us right now. True. It would explain the activity we had in here, and then those footsteps that you heard, like running away. Yes! Mm-hmm. That sounded like a child. Yeah. Mary's not in here anymore, is she? Oh my god. Why have you come? Whoa! Whoa. That's him! Because we were- I love talking. We were never talking to Mary, were we? Are you the boss here? Oh, Ema. Damn, that thing is going to red. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh my. God. And no. This is the whole thing that's been happening tonight, bro. It's just trying to confuse us and mix up the story. Yes, yes. again, bro. Wow. Can you confirm that your name is Eddie? If you're the boss, you'll tell us, right? Hello, all. Oh, oh my god. What the hell? That's confirmation, I think bro. That is confirmation. Oh. oh my god. We've never gotten anything like that. Hello, Hello all. all. I've never even heard that say that either. That was a confirmation right there. Yeah. So his name is Eddie, and it goes with Ed Edwardian. Edwardian. Yeah. Well. And it's a yes! yes. Oh my god. No. Yes. No. Just yeah. confirmed, yes. Eddie, was that you that scratched Seth? Maybe you can confirm in this device on the bed. I can scare you. Whoa! Oh my god. Is that all you, you can... Mm, never mind, I'm not gonna say that. I will flash the lights. <gasps> oh my god, flashlights. All these devices that we have. They've set off and they Wait. do flash a light. Wait a second though. Down in the basement, bro. In the closet. <gasps> oh, right. Oh, s***. Come and go. Come and go. I have an idea. Eddie, or anybody else, I have this device here in my hand. It's just a simple flashlight. I'm going to go set it next to that device in that little closet. If you can, please turn it on for us. I'm gonna go set it down. What did it say? Said no. No. Said no. Said no. You just said you will flash the lights. Not friendly. Oh my god. <laughs> dude. Dude. Seth might be f No way. If that's the case, we might not be able to be in here much longer. I just want to do this method real quick. See if we could gather some more and then, yeah, it's probably a good idea to get Seth out of here. Are you trying to follow Seth home? Oh my yeah. god. It just said yes! It just said, okay, it just started with no after I said, pro like, yeah. we should probably get him out of here. It says no, and then you just said that and it said yes. It's been targeting Seth and now it makes sense. It wants Seth. It's actually too bad for you, Eddie, because that's not happening. Well, I just set that flashlight in the closet right there. Can you turn it on, please? Use your energy. Show us how much power you have. Give us a sign. That's the last thing and then we're leaving. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Get the f out. That, that was, was a full f round. No. It did say It no. said no and that spiked to red for like two full seconds. Just turn it on once, please. You're there. Whatever this thing is, it's powerful, dude. That was three knocks. Mm-hmm. Oh! Hard one out there. Sorry, Seth. No, you're good, man. Go. I'll make you a deal. If you turn that light on, we'll leave Seth behind. It's just like the one in the closet downstairs. Same thing. I like the dark. Oh! oh. That's why they don't want it on? I like the dark. Whoa. Mary! The evil entity doesn't like the dark. If you could turn that light on. That'll make the bad man go away. Can you turn the light on for us? We're scared. Come on, Mary. No. It just said no again, it said no. Dude, I'm getting scared as f Like, for real, I'm getting scared. Come on. No, 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 no. It won't stop. 
I've never seen. It said yes. What the f is going on, bro? Dude, that's scary. As actually, that's like freaking scary. How is it? How is that possible? How is that happening? Like that may be really scary. Man, I'd quit right now. <laughs> <laughs> scary. Just turn the light on once, and we're leaving. Mary, if you want to leave with us. Yes! They did it! Scared me. It said yes. My it said yes. It literally said yes right after that, bro. Dude, I really think we have to leave. No, like actually, this is so f bad. Sorry, guys. That that took a long time, bro. After I asked that. It's like freaking me out. No, we're moving saying, around. We're, we're moving, moving around. around. That's what they say. Okay, I promised it. Mary, we're gonna try and get you out of here. What you need to do is once we leave out of that back door onto the porch, as soon as we open the door, you're going to see a bright white light. You need to move on. It's time. What happened to you was wrong. The bad man cannot have you here anymore. He has no more control. We are your guide. Follow us, please. You cannot follow us home, anybody, any spirit here. We are all protected, and especially Seth. Okay, guys, uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea for us to get out of here. This was insane, dude. It's too scary. This <laughs> like, was crazy. actually. We just experienced some incredible stuff. It's almost unreal. I know. No, what we it, just went through? No, actually. Yes. Yes. Literally, it's, it's unreal. And the fact that the light hasn't done anything since after we said that we're gonna leave. Okay. Regardless, now is the time. If you guys did like this episode, please help us out. Get it to 40,000 likes. That just shows us that you do enjoy these episodes. Tonight, the Octagon was insane. And I'd love to eventually make a return here. That's not my number one priority because we are going to the Haunted Hill House again. Did you say that? I did not say that. Did you say that? Say what? I heard the word scary. That's what I heard. What'd you hear? Whoa, bro. What, you heard a voice out loud? Free! Yeah. Free! <gasps> Oh my god. Dude. Free. No, wait. On everything. I heard it say get out. I heard I heard something. I heard scary or something. It was on can the guys, 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 can we please get like actually get guys, the guys, here? guys, guys. That's that's cool, but like I'm all set here. I won't okay. I... It sounds good. Bro, I'm, I'm actually scared. Like if you guys do like this video, it shows us that you do enjoy what we do. We have to get out of here. Also, if you are not subscribed to this channel and you keep finding yourselves coming back, please hit that subscribe button. It only takes a couple of seconds. Give us a chance. Josh and Seth's channels will also be down in the description. Check them out because we did an episode with them that's not going to be on our channel and it's insane. We will see you next week. Peace. I've been in your world.